Shalom. We the real Hebrew Israelites coming to you week in, week out. Prophet of truth and the return of the Heavenly Father, which is prophecies found in the Holy Scriptures. Before I begin this lesson, I want to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Rachak, Wadash, which is the Heavenly Father in the name and the Son name, whom the word ignorantly and willingly called Jehovah and Jesus, and a bunch of other improper translations, which is not the name. Double honor sight elders and apostles of Great Millstone, which taught us his word in truth, sincerity, and charity. Labor to bring this truth out the correct way. In these last perilous times, man, in the midst of this wicked, perverse, crooked generation, Shalom saw the great man that labored for the name of the Lord in his truth and given the proper doctrine that came before our elders and it came after our elders. Shalom to all those that listen and believe as well, hoping to get salvation in these last days. I just want to go into this topic, man, about spiritual powers. It's a bunch of scriptures, a bunch of stories, a bunch of accounts in the Old Testament and New Testament which prove spiritual powers, man. You know, the fact our forefather wrestled with an angel, you know, the fact the fact that King David was able to um the fact that King David was able to uh play uh sl uh slay thousands, man, and uh at his at his youth, play with bears and lions, which was way more ferocious back then, you know. And the different accounts with men of the Lord was uh swift as a roe. They compared how fast he was to a uh a animal, man. You know, and just in the, in the New Testament with the apostles and the disciples where they was healing, man, and they was performing miracles, man, walking on water, you know, and Yahweh Shah promised his disciples greater works where they're going to do, man, not just prophesying his word and waking up the elect, but also defending and fighting for the name and the honor of Yahweh Shah and setting up the kingdom of Yasharala here on earth, man, and cleansing the earth of wickedness. And that's going to come. Through obedience unto the word and repentance, and this is part of the promises, man. Us getting spiritual powers, you know, and we we have it right now. So I'm gonna read these scriptures, and Lord will let us be edified. I'm gonna play this clip from the brother uh, Manatazak Banyamyam. He make a lot of uh, visual effects with scriptures and voiceovers, and uh, Lord, will, I'm gonna go to this page so you can check him out. So I'm gonna go to this page to this brother because this is where I got the uh, footage from. This brother uh, got a lot of footage. Man, here you go. Manatazak by Yum Yum 144. This is where I get all the visual effects and um, media from, man. This brother very diligent in his work. You know, and you can get a uh, visual on that. And, um, yeah, hop right into it. It's the book of Matthew 17 and verse 19. Then came the disciples. I'm going to read up. And Yahweh Shah rebuked the devil and departed. Out of him, and the child was cured from that very hour. Then came the disciples to Yahweh Shah apart and said, Why could not we cast him out? And Yahweh Shah said unto them, Because of your unbelief. For verily I say unto you, If ye have faith as a grain of a mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Howbeit this kind goeth not out but by prayer and fasting. For Yahweh Shah told them two things faith, okay, is what you need. And if you have unbelief, you can do nothing. So you need faith. You know, how do your faith increase? How do you cast devils out, which is uh, spiritual powers in itself? You need to pray and fast more and believe on Yahweh, Baha Shami Shah, our Savior, our God, our God. And that's how you're able to rebuke devils, cure people, heal people, protect people in the righteousness. On the right hand side, because we know black magic is real on the left hand side and people can cast spells on you and heal you on the left hand side, you know, but that's not what we're dealing with. We're dealing with the righteous and we're going up the right way. This is Matthew 21 and 21. Yahweh shall answer and said unto them, Verily I say unto you, if ye have faith and doubt not, ye shall not only do this which is done to the fig tree, but also ye shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea and it shall be done. In all things, whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer, believing, ye shall receive. So that's all things, man. The sky is not the limit. That's what they told the fools. <laughs> you know? But point being is, hey, the Most High Yahweh Shah made a fig tree with the way, like disappear. These is written for our learning, for our comfort. Spiritual powers. And we all know Jacob wrestled with an angel. You can look that up. The different uh mighty things and divine intervention happening in the Old Testament and the New. I'm going to grab this and then I'm going to hop to the other scriptures. This is our Psalms 82 and verse 6. I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are the children of the Most High. But ye shall die like men and fall like one of the princes. 
that's because we rebelled and we went off and we our uh, faith started to go down. Our, our, uh, we lost, or we discontinued from our heritage, our customs, our law, statutes, and commandments, our high holy days, our language, just completely cut off, man. So we feeble people now. But when we return back to our power, we acknowledge our power. Guess what? He's going to acknowledge us and give us back what he granted us. It is Job 5 and verse um, uh, 17. Behold, happy is the man whom God correcteth. And he corrected us by bringing us out of that madness so we can believe, so we can pray and fast and have uh, the spirit of belief on us, man. Be as new creatures coming back to our good wealth. Therefore, despise not thou the chastity of the Almighty because it worketh some. It's going to build you up to be a man and a God and a ruler. A God, a judge, for he make it sore and bind it up. He wounded in his hands, make it whole. So we go through things. We go through affliction. We feel like we got the short end of the stick, but this is part of the great reward as well. Spiritual powers. It says, for he make it sore and bind it up. He wounded in his hands, make whole. He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yeah, in seven, there shall no evil touch you. And this is the seven trouble, which we in. No evil is going to touch us. In famine, he shall redeem thee from death and in war from the power of the sword. Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue, neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. At destruction and famine thou shalt laugh, neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. So when it is destruction, when it is famine going to come and these beasts going to be let out on the earth, man? When it is the war going to come here in America, in our, in, our, in our seventh trouble, in Jacob's trouble? It says, for thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field, and the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee. So we're going to have dominion over the animals. We're going to be able to manipulate the elements. We're going to laugh at famine because we're going to eat. The scripture says, my servant shall eat. You know? The scripture tell us and promise us things to come. This is um, Psalms 91. And four. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that fly by day, nor for the pestilence that walk in darkness, nor for the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand shall fall by at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thy eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord Yahweh, which is my refuge, even the Most High Yahweh, Baha Shavi Shai, the habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwellings. But he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. So the angels are, is going to protect us, man. You know, because it's going to be a great and terrible day. So there's going to need for spiritual power. There's going to need for a spiritual upgrade, man. The Lord is going to boost us up. And we have the root of immortality according to the scriptures already. Having this knowledge, wisdom, understanding is the root of immortality. And it's going to spring up into a greatness. God's. This is Daniel 12 and 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth up for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time, thy people, the elect, sealed from each tribe, 12,000 and innumerable multitude, that consist of the whole one third, shall be delivered. Everyone that shall be found in a book, written and found written in the book of life and actually negroes latinos and native american tribes so-called and those bloodlines that go back to abraham isaac and jacob that is predestined of the elect because two-thirds of our nation is going to die all israel is not israel they reject the truth and goodness and they chose death they chose the side of the oppressors man hey this uh jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 7 alas for that day is great so that none is like it. It's that terrible great day. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Who is that he? The elect, those that's fighting and striving, being obedient right now. Those that's believing, like Yahweh Shah said, and having a uh, faith of a mustard seed, man. You know? And in all things, whatsoever ye shall ask and pray and believe it, ye shall receive. So what are we going to receive, man? We're going to receive spiritual powers, man. We're going to be on a whole nother level. See, what the Spirit is going to do to us, man, we can't even comprehend and imagine, but all we can do is read about it, man. We're going to be doing things like this, man. What you seen in Hancock, you know, we're going to be on a whole nother level. And I'm going to uh, play this clip real quick after I read these scriptures. Uh, I got a few more. This is um, Jeremiah 51 and verse 20. Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war, for with thee... Will I break in pieces the nations, and with thee will I destroy kingdoms? Isaiah 40 and 31. But they that wait upon Yahweh, Bahashami Hawashah, shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. 
They shall run and not be weary and they shall walk and not faint. That's talking about spiritual powers to me. From what I read, scripture says, ye are God. So what you think we're going to do? And that proves this is not a white man book because a white man will not uplift you and glorify you as such. The white man won't tell you where you come from. The white man won't warn you of what's to come. The so-called self proclaimed white man, which is Esau Edom. Because that's what our people love to throw around. That's why I'm only saying the so-called white man. This wisdom of Solomon 3 and 7, which is an apocrypha, which was taken out of the Holy Bible by the enemies. And in the time of their visitation, they shall shine. Let's talk about the elect. And run to and fro like sparks among the stubble. That sound like flesh. One of this Joshua 23 and 10. One man of you shall chase a thousand. For Yahweh, your God, he it is that fighteth for you, as he hath promised you. And that's what it is, man. So if one chasing a thousand, you gotta have divine intervention, which is spiritual powers, which is gonna be placed upon us, man. A major, a major shift in power was coming. Spiritual powers from the right hand side is already here. If you believe, and that's the root of immortality. We seen it. I seen it. You know, we literally gods and we got to tap in it or you're going to die, man. Vision, imagination, and faith go hand in hand. But being in this present evil world, hey, our people lose that and they get corrupted. Get this other scripture real quick. Uh, 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 this Acts 1. And verse eight, but ye shall receive power after that the Holy Spirit has come upon you. So this is the root of immortality. We got power and ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. And that's spiritual power right there, man. <laughs> uh, hold on. I think it's in Hebrews 10. Taste it of powers to come. It's in Hebrews 10. Talking about those unbelief and those that fallen out, they're going to miss out on this, man. There's Hebrews 10. And. Uh, Hebrews 10. And. Dang. Well, I can't find it right now, so I'm going to just play this video until I figure it out. But basically, it goes into uh, uh, the taste of the power to come, man. If you fall away, it's over with. You taste it of these good the, uh, good uh, word, man, you know? Find it right now. Um, yep, I can't find it. Just play this real quick. what it is man running to and fro among the stubbles like sparks and that's spiritual powers man so and there's more scriptures 
more accounts, more history in the Old Testament and New Testament proving uh, spiritual powers. Even scientists so-called think they found a gene or something in the human body which uh, gives them uh, superhuman-like strength, which they don't fully understand because they're not going to be able to tap into that. Like, yeah, how about Shemel Shah is going to allow us to. So I'm going to grab this last scripture, uh, 2 Corinthians. Uh, no, 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians, hold on. 15. This 1 Corinthians 15 and verse uh, 50. Now I say, now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, and the kingdom of God will be on earth, set up in order and righteousness after wickedness is cleansed of the earth, which the man of the Lord, the elect, is going to partake in the whole process, even the waking up, turning and being them hunters. Hunting them from the mountains and the rocks and the holes and those that think they gonna run from the doomsday. I mean, run from the uh, wrath of Yahweh Shai and they doomsday bunkers and stuff, man. It says neither doth corruption inherit in corruption, you know. But behold, I show you a mystery. It says, behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, at the last trump. For the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible. You know, we shall be changed. So the dead is going to be raised and corruptible, and we 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 going to be changed. Changed to what? New bodies, immortality. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, for this mortal must put on immortality. You know? That's what it is. So when this corruptible shall put on incorruption, and this mortal shall put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, which is going to write his laws in our inward part. We're never going to sin. Therefore, we're never uh, we're going to be immortal. You know, the Lord is accepting us back, and he's going to grant and give us the power to be called the sons of God again. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding the work of the Lord. For as much as you know, your labor is not in vain. And we must have faith and believe that to for our faith to grow as a mustard seed, always abounding and growing in his work. I got a scripture that came to mind. Man, I can't. I got to bring this uh, Bring this out. This first John three and uh, one. Behold, what man of love the father, Yahweh, have bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of God. Yasharali, he prince of power. Therefore, the world knoweth us not. Because it knew it him not. Beloved, now are we the sons of God, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him. For we shall see him as he is. And he is, is Yahweh. And that's what his name means. Yah, he, Yahweh, Shah, exists. He is. When he said, I am that I am, he told Moses. Moses told the children, he is, he exists. And to properly translate that in the Hebrew, Hebrew the pure Hebrew, not the uh, fake modern Yiddish, but the Lashwan Kodash, the holy tongue, it's Yahweh, man. He exists. All powerful, omnipotent, omnipresent, the most high. And his only begotten son, Yahweh Shah, our deliverer. <laughs> Written right there in the scriptures, man. And it says, And every man that hath this hope in him purify himself even as he is pure so our hope is to be like this our hope is for peace our hope is to be successful and praise and worship the most high creator all israel but they don't have the knowledge and they reject the knowledge so therefore they're going to be rejected man and we got to get ourselves pure and you have told us how we get pure by prayer and fasting and this is a learning experience for me first and foremost and it's something that we always got to apply if we want the spiritual powers man and we gonna get it if we do it you know so lord holds the lessons that are fine shalom on.